I am surprisingly nervous, and so I think uh, I think I was feeling good this afternoon. I think walking into the hall and hearing the echo was kind of like, oh wow, this is a big room, and so which maybe filled with a lot of people. So a little nervous, but I think it'll go well. To an economist, health is governed by what's called the health production function. This is an equation that expresses the relationship between various health inputs, like medical care, and various health outputs, like life expectancy. In fact, an illustration of a common health production function can be found on the right-hand side of the graphic behind me. You can clearly see, as you increase the utilization of medical care, we achieve a higher and higher level of health status. However, this positive relationship is not significant as you move to higher levels of medical care. Consider the case of M2. Any, more, any increase in medical care beyond M2 does not significantly impact your overall health status. Economists refer to this as flat of the curve medicine. And most empirical studies suggest that the US experiences this kind of medicine. It raises a very interesting question for policymakers. Why focus so much attention on increasing the access to medical care when it may not offer that many health benefits? Well, in this research opinion, that's not the whole story. In fact, if you consider this trivial example, suppose I go to the doctor five times this year. I eat as healthy as a horse. I exercise every other day. I even get eight hours, eight hours of sleep each night. I could still walk out these doors, get hit by a bus, and have a very bad health outcome. Health is uncertain. There's a random component to health that we can't control. So as an economist, focusing on a health production function per se may not be accurate. We should look at the distribution of health. In fact, when economists estimate a health production function, as seen on the left-hand side of the graphic behind me, they're actually estimating the mean or the average value of a particular health distribution. And that's the focus of this research, seeing what effects things like medical care have on the distribution of health. And here's what we find. Using a collection of county-level data over the past 20 years, we can estimate that a 10% increase in medical care leads to only a 0.1% increase in health status. That's flat of the curve medicine. However, that same increase in medical care decreases the variance of the health distribution by 11%, meaning we're reducing the uncertainty associated with health. Further, that same increase in medical care leads to a 22% increase in the skewness of the health distribution indicating not only we're lowering the probability of a below average health outcome, but raising the probability of an above average health outcome. These secondary and tertiary effects are substantial and they definitely show benefit beyond average health. Thank you. Thank you, Christopher.